You two, what's good? Let me say that again. I said, You two, what's good? Royal Expensive Frenchies back in this. Yo, man, I'm on a five week update of the puppies, man. Um, yo, we're gonna do a little bit of mush today. Yeah, I'm gonna be making some mush for the puppies. I'm gonna show y'all how the puppies eating, man. And I'm basically tell y'all what's going on with these puppies, man. It's been a uh, it's been a crazy five weeks, if I might say myself, man. Um, they doing wonderful. The puppies is doing wonderful. And once again, if you need a puppy, if you want a puppy, if you want that royal expensive Frenchie, you need to holler at me, man. These puppies are looking wonderful, man. You understand? I got that Merrells. I got that Lilac. I got those blue, man. And they all, every last one of them, all are fluffy carriers, man. So let's get to it, man. Stop playing, man. You need your royal expensive Frenchie, man. And... They going at a nominal price, man. I ain't trying to overcharge or undercharge. Or... You ain't going to beat me, though. You know what I'm saying? I got some good quality puppies. Um, They look good. They beautiful. And they very, very small, man. I know you want you a small Frenchie, man. You don't want them big, long. Fr you know them Frenchies, man. And it's not. Listen, let me tell you something. I don't have no problem with nobody dogs, man. Everybody doing their thing, man. I respect everybody in the game. I definitely respect everybody in the game, so it's no problem with no dogs, but I'm telling you what my dogs are about. My dogs are wonderful, man. You know, they got them nice, light blue eyes, man. You already know you can't get them blue eyes unless you got them traits. Do I need to say more, man? They're wonderful, man. They got that chocolate in them. They got that cream in them, you know, you understand? So, you know, we got wonderful puppies, man. Um, I'm dealing with, right now, I'm dealing with, uh... All of the puppies are doing good, uh, I would say, except for for light. Uh, I've been I've been keeping light alive, man. Uh, I think light is going through light. Light is light has been going through the fading puppy syndrome since like uh, since like week two. Nursed him back. He was doing wonderful, man. And on week five, again, light is not doing so good man i did the liver water um i did the pedialyte uh I, man i did so many things and i'm and i'm trying so many things because i really don't want light to pass away i don't want light to die um that's probably just gonna be one of those ones that i keep with me i was only supposed to keep one out the litter but like i i really have a big attachment to light so um He's definitely one of those ones that I'm just going to have to probably keep with me, man. But I really want him to stay alive. I don't want to lose him, man. So I'm trying to do everything in my power to um to keep him alive, man. It's crazy, man, because um you grow an attachment to these puppies, man, when you get them and when you have them. And they're my babies, man. Like, I really don't want nothing to happen to life. So i've really been working on him like 100 percent working on him man he's super weak man what i did now was i actually separated him from the pack i really didn't want to do that but i really don't want the other pack to get you know to get sick or things of that nature you already know with the faded puppy syndrome um what happens what actually happens is uh you know um your other puppies can uh can start having those same symptoms and i really don't i really don't want that man but i really don't want to to take him away from the pack uh but i'm you know if you can hear it in my voice man it's like it's actually bothering me man it's um it's one of those things where it's like i really want him to be okay so what i'm planning on doing is what i have done is i split him off from the pack you know and uh i keep them in a separate area i keep him in a separate area but um, what I what I want to do is have him um, have more time with mom, uh, you know, because Dior is wonderful. Like I said, once again, she's wonderful. But I know Dior is also tired. It's five weeks, and these these babies been on them breasts, and you know they've been scratching out with them nails, and I know she's super tired. So, you know, I know she's ready for for them to uh to come off the breast what i've done is i've already started them eating the mush so in this video you'll see how i prepare it 
what I do and you'll see them eating. Anybody who has any questions about the puppies, feel free to ask me. The number is on the screen. Uh, if you don't want to text me, my uh, my Instagram is on the screen as well, man. You guys hit me on Instagram. We get in contact. We lock in, man, and we get some things together, man. Um, I'm not hard to get in contact with. I know a lot of people want Frenchies. Uh, let's stop being shy. You know what I'm saying? I'm brand new to this, but I ain't new to this, if you understand what I'm saying. So let's get to it. Let's do what we got to do, man, and let's get to this mush. All right, today I'm about to show y'all how to make that royal expensive puppy mush. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two cups of that Victor. We're gonna grind that up. All right, y'all gotta bear with me too. This is the first time I did this shit, so you already know what it is, man. All right, now that we got that grind up, I'm gonna throw this in this bowl. All Y'all gotta bear with me too, man. It's my first time doing this, man. You know what I mean? That shit. Oh, that's done the right way. Then I grab that baby rice and that baby oat. And we're going to put that together. I give them a whole cup of this. Half and half. We want to keep that weight good. A couple of pounds on there. I'm gonna add one can of that 100% pure pumpkin. Yeah, you see what it is. Let's get busy. Next time I'm gonna um, throw some ground beef in there. You know what I'm saying? The reason I'm not doing it right now, cause that ground ground, that mound ground is uh, it's frozen. Also for this special occasion, you already know we got that goat milk. Got to keep that goat milk. I ain't going to crack this can, but I got some in the refrigerator already. So you're going to watch me put that in there too, man. Hit it with a couple of cups of water. Like I said, man, I'm just, y'all learning with me, man. We learning together, man. Get this thing popping. Yo, listen, I want y'all to jump in the comments too, man, and let me know what puppies you feeling the most, man. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get these, these puppies in some good homes. So, um, <clears throat> I got to reach out, man. Say something, man. Don't play. We don't want to make it too mushy, but we don't want it too uh too thick for the puppies, man. So we're gonna um, throw some more water in there. And you can't forget that puppy feeder bowl. Yeah, get one of these. You need you one of these. Everything that I use, man, everything. I'm talking about everything. I mean the food. I'm talking about the, the pumpkin. I'm talking about the rice. I'm talking about the anything that I use, you're going to be able to get. Link in the description. Yeah, you already see what it is. You see what it is. You're about to get busy. All right, now let's see if they mess with it, man. Right? Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Of course, you know they're going to get a little messy, but... Oh. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what's 
going on? Yeah. Yeah. You might be a little bit of goddess, but as you can see, they rocking now. Yeah. Light, come on, light, man. Get in there, light. Get in there, light. They're going to need some help. Yeah, get in there, light. Like on one side. Yeah. Oh, put him on the side. Put him on the side. That's nah, me. Nah, he's nah, good. He's gonna figure it out. Gotta let him figure it out. Gotta let him figure it out. Gotta let him figure it out. And they off. Put their little grub on. Yeah.